the sound of my steps is like should be more spaced out and I feel like it's going to <laughs> something is different. I don't know what this is different. Tell me, tell me what's going on. I know it's low back, so. It's just constant low back pain, probably for a number of years. That probably could be from. You said ten years. I'm a grandmother already, <laughs> so oh, I what? have a twenty-something-year-old <laughs> kid. So, could be from the children, from having a desk jobs that entire time, and okay. all constantly being on the computer, and just, just been living with pain for a long time. And uh, my husband just made the appointment, so. Okay, well tell me a little bit about the, the pain. So, I know it's been going on for a long time. Yeah. Uh, it's not really one side and the other side, right? That's, it's right, right in the center. It's just a constant pain that just doesn't go away. It's just part of aging, maybe. <laughs> but when was the first time you, you felt it? Like, was there an uh, incident or? I can't, I mean, the only thing I could think of is just the kids, you know, having the kids. But okay. I, I've just had it forever now. Like, I just can't remember how long it's been. What have you tried over the last like a long time has anything I'm helped? very anti-meds so I just do stretching and you know just push okay. myself through that pain has anybody seen it any other car park anything no no Nobody. my husband <laughs> my husband sees all the weird stretches that I do on the bed and just to feel some relief is it worse now than it was uh, like it's gotten like, a lot worse yeah it's gotten worse. I work a lot more so I think that has a lot to do with it so tell me what um, what activities like how does it affect your daily activities uh, uh, it just makes my exercise, exercise routine more difficult. So that, you know, even on the treadmill, I could tell in the sound of my steps, it's like, should be more spaced out. And I feel like it's going doo 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 doo. And I'm like, wait, it should be like boom, 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 you know? It just affects my activities daily and all, all throughout the day. But I'll still try to push myself and then I'm beating myself up like, why couldn't you do that move? <laughs> because probably because you shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Tell me what, what does it look like to you? Uh, it looks twisted to me, but I know Brian wants I, I was already crying before I even came in here, just thinking of the relief that I'm gonna have. I'm glad you're crying from the relief. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just excited, you know, um, trying to listen to my body. The more I exercise, the more I try to listen to my body, learn about my body, you know, the more fine out stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to push through spine pain. Yeah. Yeah, you can push through other pain, but yeah. spine pain is hard. So. And what are the activities, just so I can tell you kind of what I, I'm seeing, but I want to make sure I kind of understand the activities that really, really suck for you. Understand uh, A lot of incline stuff, because I have a lot of knee pain. So they, they try to start giving me like cortisone shots. I'm like, look, I'm just too young. Let me just stop, because if I start now, in a few years when I really need it, it my body's going to be immune to all this stuff. So I just feel it stopping me. Like, I want to. I want to be a real runner and I can't. I want to do certain things in my body. I feel like it doesn't let me do what I, what I want to do. Got it, okay. Well, that's a very common thing. I mean, where people feel like they're trapped in their body, mm -hmm. but you're in the right place. <laughs> and does it hurt worse um, in the morning when you wake up? Yeah. Mornings, okay. evenings. Okay. So I'm the happiest moving, walking, a constant movement is when I'm the happiest. Yeah, so everybody's a puzzle, right? And mm -hmm. so, you know, I usually want to just hear everything just yeah. before, you know, try to start piecing things together. We call it a funnel diagnosis. We try to get everything so that we can really funnel into like what, what's pertinent. Mm -hmm. And so I'm thinking of what step three is already mm -hmm. when, you're, when, you're, when you're talking to me. So let me just tell you a couple of things that I'm seeing. The way that you're, you're describing the pressure, you feel good when you move, right? <laughs> Typically that points us to a disc issue over here. So. When you move, you're moving mainly over here, and it's basically a, what we call a spinal engine, right? And so basically, um, what happens is your body basically like moves like this as it um, as you walk. If you have problems in these joints, it hurts like crazy. Mm -hmm. But if you have a lot of compression on your disc, the movement actually helps, right? It alleviates that pain. That's also explaining why it hurts worse in the morning than later on in the day, um, because you have more and more buildup of fluid into your joints when you sleep. Let me confirm that really quick uh, and exactly what disc is going uh, haywire, okay? Do you have any other issues too? Like your neck is really compressed as well. But... Yeah, that, those are my two biggest points. I'm happiest on my hammock when my bed's on zero gravity. Oh. Well, gravity isn't your friend when you have uh, Yeah, I have problems. a lot of upper, well, pretty like, much everything in the picture. Like, so it's always right here. Yep. 
right? But because I, I, I have it so much, it ends up being like all this area right here. And when you look back, does it does it hurt? Um, no. No? It's better. Okay. Is it hard to move your arms around? No, my arms and my arms and legs are fine. Um, you know, the, the knee pain, I'm, I blame on my weight. And it's only your right knee? Uh, my right knee's worse, but no, they're both bad. Both bad, okay. So I try to take like calcium or vitamins and try, trying to step up my self-care game. And it's like through here, right? Kind of like yeah, across the I just feel like it's the entire like hip, I don't know. Okay. I was telling him if I lay flat on my back and I try to do leg lifts, when my legs are up and I go down, it goes dun, dun. I could, I, if like if this is a joint here, I could hear it go boom, 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 boom. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I can't do them. <laughs> Not because I don't want to or I physically can, it's because whatever is ticking in here or rubbing, I feel it every time. So the more I try to get excited about exercise, the more I find moves that I, I like my body just won't let me do. Is it? Do you feel like stutters more on your right leg? I do. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of people actually think when you do like like lifts like that or you're doing like a lot of people think it's actually uh, it's a core exercise or it's like an ab exercise it's actually more of a hip flexor exercise so the hip flexor that you're actually working out uh, that feels like your abs but it's not really your abs it's actually your psoas muscle we're looking like this right mm -hmm. your psoas goes like this okay so it goes it touches onto these mm -hmm. They're called transverse processes, and it attaches this way. Okay, so basically, when it's tight and you're working out, it's actually pulling on your spine. Do you see basically how these? Mm -hmm. This is rotated this way. So basically, this side is a lot longer than this side, right? And so basically, it has to pull way more on this side than it does this on side. The other side, yeah. Yeah. Let me see really quick. I want to feel what's going on here. But that hurts right, right here. I can feel it. Yeah. Um, That's usually where it is, right? Mm -hmm. like right here. Are there any other positions that hurt, like here? Do you, do you feel it when you're sitting? Right um, it's it's a constant pain. So what I notice most is when I feel relief. So I'm just used to having a constant pain, a constant pain here, and then just a constant pain here. So I'm constantly doing this to my neck all day long. I was like, people probably wonder like, what's wrong with that lady? Okay, yeah? let's do better than that. Okay. Now let's have you sit all the way back here. Let me see what's... Does that hurt right there? It's a weird feeling. I don't know how to describe it. I almost feel like, please don't break my neck. <laughs> okay, do you get headaches? No, I just feel like, so I'm constantly Trying to squeeze right. this. I'm always telling everybody, squeeze this the tightest that you can squeeze it. Okay. Don't, I mean, and then they try to do it. I'm like, no, tighter than that, <laughs> please. When you feel neck pain, do you usually feel it in your upper back or like right here, mid neck? Uh, mid and mid and then radiates down to my shoulders. Right through here. Yeah. Okay. And that probably sucks, That's right? That's so weird. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna adjust your C6. This is where your neck starts reversing. Mm -hmm. so like this, and it just goes a pop, and then goes over, right? So this is where we wanna work on. Okay. It's right there. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do before I do it. How should I breathe? You just relax. You don't need to worry about breathing. I just pop, uh, push this forward like that, okay? So just relax. And... Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna... We'll pull this up, okay? There you go. That's the rest. Okay, come on up. Yeah, it feels better, it feels different. Good, okay, walk around a little bit for me. Let, let that settle into place. Okay, it is different. Huh? <laughs> something is different, I don't know what, but something is different. Because I usually have to do this. Like just to get some relief in the middle. So there's three, three areas that hurt. And I didn't feel, I don't feel that. It feels good. Good? It feels better. Thank yeah, we you. didn't even test that. Yeah, yeah. that's good. <laughs> no, but I was telling him I really couldn't do like one of the Zumba moves. And I tried to push back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I will feel yeah. something like sharp shoot up and I'll be like, oh, okay, don't do that. Yeah. Can you do that now? Uh, I could do a little bit, but not. Okay. I can still feel that. Yeah, so the reason why it's a little bit tricky is because um, typically when people have a, a really steep arch, we actually want to work on the pelvis to lessen some of that arch. So actually adjusting it kind of at that angle makes it a little bit tricky. 
even yeah. when I'm touching it, because I'm so used to trying to redeem myself, even when I'm pushing on it right here, it feels different. Like I usually go to the end here, uh -huh. and then I'll grab, I'll start uh -huh. doing this and try to do, the, probably pretty much uh, what you're yeah, doing yeah. in my own. Yeah, yeah. Right, but when I, when I'm doing it this time, it doesn't feel like it's probably already relieved. <laughs> I mean, you just relieved me, so it doesn't, I don't feel anything, and it's not sticking out this bone like normally it's literally hitting my fist back so what you're trying to do we're working on this joint right mm -hmm. so what i was doing was working uh going like this mm -hmm. and you're basically trying to go like this mm -hmm. it's kind of like two sides of the same coin mm -hmm. but this is what gets better relief is actually adjusting that joint mm -hmm. on top instead of this under mm -hmm. yeah this you is all i that. could feel on the outside i was like what the heck and even on the one right here i'm like what the heck is this pointing at me like this Thing else, I feel like it should be when you push my neck in. Mm -hmm. I feel like, oh yeah, that's what it probably should feel like, you know. But I feel like mine's is way different than, than that. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. So, Let's have you sit one more time. Let me just check it one more time. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, that should feel a lot better. Okay, well, leave that alone okay. for a little bit. We're gonna keep working on that, mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna keep like setting it, and then we're gonna start working. So on So every pelvis. time when I come in, they'll will they be doing the same thing, or because this no. was my first kind of visit? Yeah, I know. Um, so we're always gonna be doing our five part analysis. We're always gonna be our five part analysis is looking at basically the inflammation mm -hmm. through the scope. We're gonna be looking at your X rays. We're gonna be feeling what joints are messed up. Mm -hmm. uh, both motion and also where it's really, really tender. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to go get you in gown to see what this, the, the, your posture, your skin, all that stuff kind of looks like. So depending on our findings, we might actually move on because I, I want to actually start working your pelvis because your pelvis is also rotated mm -hmm. and part of the reason why you have such a steep arch as well. Mm -hmm. But we got to make sure we're measuring things before we jump to, we don't want to just right, jumping around. Right, because you don't have like a base to know if it's getting better or worse. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, so this is my start. This is your start. Okay. Yeah. Wait till we finish. I'm excited.